I had a super hard time sleeping yesterday. A lot of it is the pressure of making decisions so quickly and not wanting to mess up. When you're dealing with these smaller spaces, sometimes when you're trying to put in some fixtures, you want to go with a larger fixture, but you don't want it to feel forced. So it is a game of inches. We're heading off to the property right now to really figure that stuff out. And that becomes the outside of the wall, and then you frame your wall. So that's it. It's basically 30, there's your outside shower, it's 36, 14 inches, then you have another 14 inches, a two inch gap, 27 inch vanity, and two inches. And that's gonna bring us right out to where we need to be. What we done from the original large scale run where we're adding two washrooms, we were originally gonna remove this entire section here, which was the staircase to, down, to downstairs. Uh, however, we're gonna work within the existing footprint that's here, and we're still gonna be able to accommodate two full washrooms, one for the primary bedroom and one from the, from the hall supporting the other two bedrooms. So um, initially, this is all gonna be framed out here, and this is our new space to work with with the main hallway washroom. Uh, we had intentions of putting a toilet here because of this uh, cavity for the staircase, and this was all gonna be framed up as a wall, which would make this look smaller. Instead, um, came up with a really good idea that this is gonna be the new shower. So this area where we have the staircase is actually gonna be a bench in the shower. The door for the shower was actually gonna be in here with our fixtures up against this wall. On this section here up against the wall will be the toilet, and then we're gonna have a 30-inch vanity up against this wall. The doorway leading into this washroom right now is here, we're going to change that, we're going to bring it over to on this side so that when we're walking in, that we're actually facing the vanity. A lot of times I see people walking into the side of a toilet or walking into the side of a shower, we want to see the vanity, it's the main focal point and it's going to create the most value. And the last point I want to make is now to create the illusion of this washroom being massive, we're going to start our tile on the wall on this corner and we're going to wrap it all the way across, all the way down and back to this way and we're gonna have large tiles on a horizontal pattern that's going to make this feel massive for a house of this size. On the primary bedroom, when you open up the door here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build out this wall, creating this room, which is now gonna have a door that will open up this way, and we're gonna have a 27 inch vanity, we're gonna have our toilet centered, and then this section back here is now the shower. And the same thing, we're going to carry our tile from this corner, from this wall where it starts, all the way down, wrap all the way across with a glass shower, really making this a nice big comfortable space. We're super lucky. We've been doing this for such a long time. We've developed some amazing relationships with our suppliers and our trades that allow us to do this at a grossly discounted price. That being the case, we're able to spend more on these fixtures to really accomplish what we're trying to do, which is to make these washrooms look like something you would see in a two or three million dollar home. However, for those of you who are on a budget, my suggestion is go to some of these high-end showrooms, look at what they've accomplished, and then based on that look, go online to stores like online shops like Wayfair and Amazon and shop for similar products that look the same, but you're gonna buy them at a shoestring budget. Definitely feeling that. This has too much of a green and this also is good. This is really, really nice with the black fixtures. It will look nice. So we'll do one washroom like that. And then the other washroom. I like going into a mat. Right? These are all, see how these are all shiny? Yeah, so if they have this in a mat, yes. There you go. And this is it. This is it. So what, what I'm almost thinking is that we, one of the, and this is four bucks a square foot. So we would do, uh, the, the master ensuite in this, and then we do the main washroom in this. 175 square feet. Plus waste. Plus waste. The one thing about this tile, it's not so much the texture and the color. What's really going to have the impact with this tile is going to be the sure size of it, and that's what's going to create and differentiate and make it look very rich. Um, as opposed to if we did the exact same tile in a much smaller tile set it would not have the same impact. So this tile will now allow us to bring the, uh, the focus to things like the fixtures uh, in the washrooms in the shower, the shower bar, which will all be black. Even some of the accents around the glass that's gonna be black in the handle will really pop on this tile. I don't like this toilet sitting three, four inches off the wall. So if you could buy the toilet today, before he puts this in, we'll have the spec on the toilet. So the toilet's sitting like literally about an inch, an inch and a half from the back of the wall. Here was $159.
right? So if we did, imagine a 24 inch vanity, mm -hmm. that 24 inch mirror, and then the light here, because this is a smaller room, the space in it. And then we want to keep this obviously as high as possible, right? Yeah. So again, think about, you're building up the shower, so again, don't put it tight to the ceiling, you probably just want to have it a few inches away, because now you can see, it's a very slim profile. I can't believe all of this has happened in the last five days, and Austin's heading out for the next two weeks. So the next time you see a video, you probably won't even recognize this house. So if you guys want to make sure you don't miss anything, be sure to click on that subscribe button, click on that notification bell. And for those of you who are trying to find your dream home and right now are struggling in this seller's market, feel free to reach out to us. We can certainly help find the right house and help you with that renovation to make it your dream home. If that's an option you guys are considering, you know where to reach us.